Hello, everyone, and welcome to ARC's first NDC Partner Series webinar, an introduction to Amadeus Travel Platform. Hi, I'm Judy Howard, the Manager of Customer Experience and Training here at ARC, and hosting today's session will be Paige Blunt, Senior Manager, Direct Connect in One Order. Many of you probably are very familiar with her. Uh, however, before I turn it over to Paige, I just wanna go over a few housekeeping items. Today's session is a little bit longer than usual. It is an hour and a half, but we wanted to make sure we gave everyone enough time with this really important topic that we're gonna be going over today that you all had enough time to ask, you know, to ask questions, get those answered. However, for the ones that we don't get answered, we will be responding to those, so don't worry. Uh, to answer, um, we will uh, we'll have everybody muted today, and on the right-hand side, there is a control panel, so please type in your questions. Type them in throughout. If it's not even on the, the topic that's being discussed, just type them in, because we want to hear from you, and um, we will answer, like I said before, as many of those as we can. Today, also, there'll be a couple of videos being shared, so during that time, we won't be um, interrupting. Um, to answer any questions, but please type them in. And after the videos um, are over, then we'll jump in and answer any of the questions that pertain to those. Uh, this will be recorded, so don't worry if you wanna share this with others in your organization um, when this is done. We encourage you to do so, so that you all can um, be educated and familiar. Uh, there will be more of these sessions coming up, so um, don't worry, this will be a continuum. Um, so Paige, I'm gonna turn it over to you to kick this off. So thank you everyone and thanks for attending. Great, thanks so much, Judy. Um, welcome everyone, we're so glad you've joined us. I think we have a great um, tra uh, travel technology partner to show you and, and let them give their speech about how they can help you with your NDC uh, needs. So today we have Cassie Kilcar, who is definitely, I think most people in, involved in NDC know who she is with ARC. Um, she is our you know, strategic analyst that tells everyone how to uh, onboard. All the airlines definitely know who she is. Um, and then we have Joaquin Rothen from Amadeus, who is going to do a great presentation on the product that uh, Amadeus is offering so that you'll be able to get some insights and, and some really good uh, onboard vision of how this is going to look for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, please type the questions in, as Judy mentioned. We'll try to get those answered, um, and let's get going. Thank you, Joaquin. Thank you, Paige. Thank you, Cassie. And thank you, ARC, for the opportunity for, for me to present you our uh, Amadeus NDC solution that is uh, named the Amadeus Travel Platform. So my name is Joachim Raffin. I'm part of the NDC solution management team, and my objective is to make NDC a success for travel agencies. I'll uh, present you what Amadeus has done and continue to deliver on the NDC, and um, we'll, uh, we'll show you as well where do we stand today, and then we'll have a demo as part of the Amadeus Selling Platform Connect, which is our front end, and then uh, we'll see in this demo how the um, and the bookings that are being created and issued on the Amadeus Selling Platform Connect can be then transitioned to the ARC user interface to see how the, uh, the bookings and ticketing occur in an NDC environment. So let's have a look first at the Amadeus Travel Platform and NDC. The Amadeus Travel Platform is the objective for, uh, and the reality, concrete reality for Amadeus to integrate in one single platform content that is coming from the legacy Edifact technology, uh, the technologies that have been powering GDSs for the last couple of decades now. Uh, NDC content, the uh, NDC is standing for new distribution capability. It's a, a new da data standard designed by the uh, IATA. And uh, other APIs, I mean like some low-cost carriers also are connected through the Amadeus travel platform. And all this content, we make it available through all the uh, channels that travel agents need. Either Selling Platform Connect, that we will uh, see today, uh, but we have uh, as well our API for web service customers who would like to build their own website, and we have Citric Travel and Expense for corporate booking tool. But today we will focus on Selling Platform Connect, and see, we will see how a travel agent can access all this content in one screen. 
Now, I've mentioned that NDC is a technical standard. When we look at how it was presented uh, initially, uh, and here I'm, I'm using uh, one FAQ do document from uh, Famous Airline in, the, in North America, where uh, NDC's technology standard uh, was meant to ensure that when an airline is uh, using NDC, it uses processes and XML which are common so that the connection to one airline can be easily replicated and be used from one airline to the other. The reality is uh, slightly different and it's important to, to have this in mind, especially for people who are, let's say, quite new to, to NDC because there is uh, the NDC promise and now the reality is slightly different and it's important to have both views to, uh, to understand where do we stand on NDC. For example, if we take something as simple and uh, as old as industry as what is a departure report and a timing in the NDC standard. Here we have, and this is the kind of messages exchanged by the airline IT system and aggregators such as Amadeus. So we have, for example, American Airlines, uh, where we see uh, the airport code, the departure time and date, uh, and airport name, and it's using one version of the standard. But then, for example, you have Pinair, which is using another version of the standard, where the, we still have the departure airport, Helsinki, but you see that the name of the tags are not the same. And the departure date and time is now on one field, while it was on two fields for American Airlines. And we go with Air France CLM, which has another version of the standard. And the departure airport uh, was IATA, uh, was coded as IATA location code without underscore why there was one for Finair. And uh, terminal names have changed and corrected this since, but terminal name, according to the, IAT, the NDC standard, is free text. So every airline can put whatever they want. Every other airline put just terminal code. Uh, Air France puts originally the, also the word terminal. So and uh, to conclude, uh, S7, a Russian carrier, is using um, a data structure that is also, uh, that looks like American Airlines, but is not exactly the same, like we don't have the airport name in the data provided by the carrier. So all these four carriers have been sent by IATA as, congratulations, you've correctly implemented the IATA NC standard. So for something as simple and as basic as what is the departure airport and what is the timing, we have four airlines and four different ways to exchange data. So for data which are more complex, such as what is a passenger, what is a refund, what is a service, things are going exponentially more complex. The good news for you is uh, there are two, two folds. First is uh, at Amadeus, we standardize this data, so you don't have to manage this in a, uh, directly because we harmonize this for for you and uh, the second thing is IATA hasn't, hasn't been put in charge of communication between the air traffic control and the planes that would be uh, quite uh, complicated if every airline had its own way to uh, discuss with the control tower. Now the standardization that Amadeus is performing in the name of the travel agency to simplify the implementation and access to the NDC content we are able to hide these differences and complexity wherever possible. Wherever possible being that uh, IATA, for example, has stated that a confirmation number um, is maximum on 14 characters. And then some carriers have provided confirmation um, numbers and confirmation uh, references out of, uh, based on 36 characters. And nevertheless, this carrier has been stamped as NDC certified by IATA. So there are things in the NDC standards that can be harmonized and Amadeus will do the utmost um, uh, possible work to harmonize this for you. Nevertheless, there are some discrepancies from one airline to the other, which is so non-homogeneous that somehow it's not possible to, uh, to make it fit in one single environment. That's something that uh, is important to um, to have in mind. Where we believe that now you uh, you have a glimpse on what the work that Amadeus is doing uh, in the background. Yes, we are doing normalization and standardization to uh, so that the 21 
carriers connected already via the Amadou system are made available in a consistent way to the travel agents. What we deliver as well is end-to-end -end servicing. At Amadeus, we believe that being able to uh, book a flight and issue the ticket is good, but not enough. And travel agents need to be able to perform servicing, including advanced servicing, autonomously, directly from the interfaces they know and love, without having to contact the airline, uh, either via phone cent uh, call centers or using the airline portals. So that's why the, uh, among the features that we've delivered and that we uh, make available for every airline that we release in production is as well possibility to service, to cancel, to modify flights. Uh, what is interesting as well is using Amadeus NDC uh, solution is the deep integration and interoperability that we have with the existing ecosystem. For example, you um, you may know uh, Check My Trip. Well, when you book an NDC flight in Amadeus, the PNR that is created in the end is similar to legacy PNR. So you can, I mean, the, the travelers, for example, can retrieve the bookings directly on Check My Trip and without any additional developments that we've had to do on Check My Trip. So this is what is true for Amadeus products with Check My Trip is also true for your products like may potentially um, robots which are picking PNRs and generating nice confirmation emails to customers. Uh, Amadeus has uh, also a unique position because we are IT providers both for the airline industry with our Altea NDC solution, the solutions that have been used, for example, by Avianca, Qatar, uh, Finnair, Singapore Airlines, and many others and also IT provider for the travel agencies. And because we have these two hats, we can leverage um, uh, these uh, internal synergies by reducing the time needed when uh, a feature is made available by an airline to make it available to the travel agent, as well for the support, where we can manage all the supports in-house directly. And finally, collaboration. The NDC standard is an evolving standard, which means that there is always something to improve. There is always something to uh, to make better with new capabilities. And Amadeus, especially as we have got these two hats on the airline IT side and on travel seller side, we are promoting improvements of the NDC standard that really benefits the whole industry and not only one side. And as a matter of um, courtesy of all the added value Amadeus had towards the IATA and C standard. The f for example, the first face-to-face -face meeting which occurred after the, the pandemic and the lockdown was held in uh, Amadeus premises by IATA. So, uh, obviously, NDC is a long journey. We've started uh, many, many years ago, and we have been live since 2019. In the, the last year, we have reached uh, basically a, a deployment that is virtually uh, every uh, large market in the world with uh, 145 countries already uh, deployed, several tens of thousands of travel agencies already NDC capable around the, uh, around the world. And uh, our objective for 2023 is really the acceleration of the um, adoption of NDC and this is made through various actions, such as this webinar in partnership with ARC. So in May 2023, where do we stand? And uh, it's important to say May 2023 because Amadeus is delivering often new features, so it's important to, uh, to be up to speed. In terms of functionalities, we have this end-to-end -end flow, so not only the booking, but also the booking uh, post-booking services that is available in production, like fully aggregated search uh, possibility with uh, NDC, the legacy edifact content, that uh, is sometimes called uh, GDS, but we prefer to use the same way NDC is a technology. Edifact is another technology to communicate between airlines and uh, distribution actors. So the whole content is displayed on one screen. 
where the travel agent can access to any type of content, uh, single monopacks, um, have the possibility to access to the whole complete list of ancillary services from the airline as well as the, the seat map, possibility to, uh, uh, to book and uh, pay the ticket later. Uh, the, uh, um, we still have uh, access in the NDC environment to the ticketing time limit. We'll see it in the, in the demo. Payment with uh, DSP or ARC or payment with credit card is, is supported. In terms of post-booking services, so not, not only the basic features, cancel, void, and refund, but as well possibility to uh, perform voluntary changes action. And we are also managing a lot of involuntary changes that are occurring sometimes for operational purpose on the airline side, where we end up synchronizing the Amadeus NDC reservation so that the travel agent can access the latest information, no matter if the change was done on the airline host system. All of this via the classic and the usual uh, queues that you've been accustomed to. In terms of integration, uh, Amadeus is reusing the AAR, so the Amadeus interface uh, record, so the handoff by the, the feed for the mid back office, so that uh, there is no need to, uh, to change processes uh, here. We have the active uh, PNR with active flight segments that's related to the um, synchronization we are performing in the background in case of schedule change, for example, or, or any kind of disruption. And all of this is compatible with the, uh, the Amadeus ecosystem, easing the work for the travel agent and, um, and the travel agency in general to uh, perform this migration, this transition to the NDC environment. So, NDC, as I mentioned, is activated uh, worldwide with 145 markets, uh, 28,000 agencies. And actually, uh, this is going too fast. We should have updated uh, the, this uh, PowerPoint. It's not uh, 19 airlines, but 21 airlines available, depending on the country. So the, the list is this one, and I have highlighted with a small Canadian or US flag, the airlines which are available in North America. So today, 21 airlines uh, which are live, and in North America, American Airlines, Avianca, United, which is uh, available in the US currently on, only, Iberia, Qatar Airways, Singapore Airlines, and Qantas. Still, other airlines will join as they see uh, they are making their processes ARC compatible. So that's, uh, that's why that in the coming months, you will see uh, Air France, KLM Group, British Airways also being available in North America with ARC in, um, uh, yeah, in North America. And as well, we are piloting with Cathay Pacific, but for pipeline for 2023, as at least another half dozen airline that will join or, uh, or list. Just to give you an idea of how fast we are going, at the beginning of 2022, so 15 months ago, we were with four airlines live. And today we are with 21. So in terms of content ag aggregation and content integration, we are really, really um, slamming the accelerator to, uh, to make as much as possible differentiating and meaningful differentiated content available. So, uh, Jakeem, I'm going to just jump in here for a minute. It's Judy. We are getting a lot of um, questions in regards to the sound. Um, if For those of you that are having some sound issues, it uh, could be a couple of things. Uh, if you go to your audio uh, on the control panel and on the little carrot, the drop down, you can also, if you're using your computer, you can click on the radio button that says phone call and it will be it will provide a number to call in on if that would be more helpful. Um, otherwise, again, this is being recorded uh, and we will send it out so that when you get that recording, um, you can kind of click 
you can slow it down, click, you can stop it um, for the different sections that you need. Again, apologize if some of you are having some audio issues, but again, this will be recorded and uh, please, uh, in the right hand uh, control panel, ask your questions. Sorry, Jakeem, for um, interrupting. I'll let you continue. Uh, absolutely no problem, and, uh, and I understand it. Um, so, um, in terms of where do we stand, uh, roughly, we've uh, we've covered where, where we are. But uh, to convince you, what we have now uh, of is the some uh, demonstration of NDC content in Amadeus Selling Platform Connect. So, what we will look at here in partnership with ARC, we've prepared a use case that will showcase to you the, um, uh, the flow of information from the travel agency to uh, Amadeus. And we'll uh, first look at a, a video that will look at how to search for NDC content in the graphical module all fares, how to book, how to pay an issue, how to add chargeable services. And then we'll see how this booking is made available through the ARC IAR interface uh, to the, the travel agency for, for the reporting. Well, I guess we could start with any ARC related questions and then yeah, hopefully you can get connected. Yeah, okay, so let me get back down there because um, there's a lot that really is for Amadeus. So let's try to get back down here. So I can, um, it sounds like there's a couple on voids page. I can start there. If there is about voiding. Yes, there is a question about voiding that we need to answer, but I think there, there's going to be kind of a two for there because part of it's going to be related to the airline fare rule, right? Um, because NDC fare rules are different than uh, GDS fare rules. But other than that, please go ahead, Cass. About the void. Could you talk about the void a little bit? Sure. So, um, Airlines also, as I mentioned in the video, for those that could hear, um, there are certain business rules that the airline is able to decide when they're joining the NDC program. And um, sometimes that, so I talked about the five kind of modifiable fields in IAR, but then there are whether or not an agent can void an IAR, whether they can add a ticket in IAR, just kind of similar to what you're used to doing today in IAR for GDS transactions. So they may inhibit the ability to do that. Every airline is going to be slightly different in the selections and, um, and capabilities that they allow for the agents. So if they allow voids, then yes, you would have that ability. Um, uh, and to what Paige said, that also, um, you'll follow the same process for issuing a void as you do today. So you would Try to avoid that in IER, it would send a message out to that airline's database. And if that does not return um, an ESAC, then there could be a number of reasons why. It could have to do with the airline's particular void window, which could be closed um, by the time you are accessing that document. Um, so it's really going to just depend on a number of things. Um, but if you have the ability to void, you would know it. Um, that would be if you click on it, it's going to tell you whether you can or not um, on like the void button in IAR. Um, and then if you don't get any SAC return, just know it could be because of the void window that's determined kind of the in the fair rules that Paige mentioned as well. And feel free to add anything else to that page if you need. No, 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 that's great. Thank you, Cass. Um, Yo, Kim, are you back with us now? Perfect. Okay, so I have some questions for you. So first one is. Um, there, there are a lot of things here that we can't answer specifically because every airline has different uh, rules and accommodations and different fare um, offerings that they are displaying within each of the aggregators out there. And so there, there's some things that he will not be able to speak to, but we're going to try to get to some of those. So one of the questions is, um, can you, let's see, uh, I apologize, this is just not getting it. How, how do we, um, hmm, is there a list uh, like in regular Amadeus to show the ability to void? And I, I don't know if there's a list in them. I haven't seen that, but this is the question that's here. Uh, so that's a, a very good question. And uh, yes, so all airlines uh, that we make available through the travel platform 
and the travel agent can avoid, uh, no problem. Plus, uh, as I've mentioned, there are some features, uh, some very advanced features that are uh, dependent on, on the airline. And uh, actually, we have a website, the Amadou Service Hub, which is uh, the extranet that travel agents can connect to to access for the latest documentation. And uh, this uh, website has a list, and uh, maybe uh, I can uh, I can show it in uh, in, in parallel. So. Um, this service hub is our reference portal for the travel agents to, to access information about NDC. So I'm connecting and uh, I'll show quickly. But in the meantime, I guess we can go to the next question. Okay, so it says um, this is really more about um, integration um, of private fares. Um, is there an opportunity when those private fares uh, are, depend on bulk type ticketing and that has not been considered at NDC? Are you aware of any of that or do we need to forego that question? A bulk type ticketing in NDC? B bulk time, sorry? Bulk, like bulk, bulk. fare. Okay. Um, so with NDC, the um, I, uh, I tend to say that uh, NDC is the Brexit of air distribution. Everything is about airlines taking back control. So mm -hmm. airlines can decide what fares are being distributed to which agency, based on office IDs uh, and uh, IATA numbers. And uh, as aggregator, Amadeus, we are just, uh, let's say, transmitting these fares from the airlines to the, the travel agencies. So if uh, an airline is publishing this type of fares, which have maybe speci specific ticketing time limits, we would pass on this uh, this fare to the travel agency, and the, that would be the same for the ticketing time limit, where is maybe a very uh, uh, let's say a very long ticketing time limit, uh, several weeks, several months. That will work out the same. We um, uh, had before the booking or after, um, the travel agent would see what is the ticketing time limit for the uh, uh, for the booking. To, to come if back I, on the... If I may complement after you, you finish uh, the answer, Joachim. Yes. Uh, so on bulk, uh, Alexandra, I let you uh, complement uh, and uh, then I'll come back on the void question. Okay. So just regarding, yes, everything that is negotiated, uh, let's say IT, BT, fares, it's true that this is something that um, is available in the GDS world, but because of the NDC, let's say, concept, the airline knows exactly who is connecting and define the, the, the best offer for this agent. And in terms of uh, net remit and non, let's say, transparency in the fare, like the IT, BT, um, it's not supported as such in NDC. It's just the airline building the best appropriate offer and returning back that through the aggregator, but to the travel agent presenting this uh, this uh, offer with a price. So hopefully it turns out. Thank you, Alexandra. Yeah, no, I understand exactly what you're saying. Okay, the next one is, oh, go ahead. Oh, you have your thing. Okay, ready? Yes, uh, to, uh, so something uh, important in it because there are uh, many questions are normally answered already in our online documentation, just this uh, extra net. So this is uh, a medical service hub that travel agents can, um, can connect to. And as part of our distribution products, we have uh, an NDC uh, option. And in this NDC option, uh, we have a lot of reference information, like for example, uh, table of functionalities per airline. So when we, uh, we click on, uh, on this, on top of the list of airlines which are available, uh, we see for uh, each of the carrier, which feature is enabled or not. So uh, I think the question was on the void. And here for uh, change after issuance, void. And these are green ticks for every carrier. Okay. But that doesn't necessarily talk to the time limit based on the fare that they're being offered in the NDC channel, correct? Yes. It's in, uh, the, Let's say the Amadeus travel platform has a technical capability. Now the void remains, I mean, the definition of end of void window or start of the refund window is an airline decision. 
Correct. Thank you. Yes. Um, one, there was one question during the video. Someone had asked about how you can select a business class. Is there an opportunity to do that um, in in the drop? Is there a drop down or how does that work to be able to select a business class? So, yes, it's possible. Um, uh, the simplest way is to um, uh, is to request business class during the search. So when the travel agent enters the origin destination and uh, the departure and the return time, it's possible as well to specify the uh, cabin class, uh, sometimes per, per bound, depending on what the airlines uh, support. And this information will be sent to the airlines, so they provide back solutions which are only mapping, I mean, only via matching the, the request from the travel agent. So just for the sake of uh, uh, everyone to, uh, to see it live. So here I have my uh, website. So it's based out of Nice, but uh, it can be in any website in the, the world. And here you see in the cabin, it's possible to, uh, to select business class. Another possibility is as part of the upgrade fares proposed by, uh, by some carriers, you can have um, also business, uh, I mean, premium economy, business, and first class fares also made available. Okay, great. So it's here. In, okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, when you were showing your video, a question came in about can that process be done in both graphic and command mode? So um, the capability to, uh, to search. Uh, price, book, and amount NDC content is only available via the graphical module of uh, uh, Amadeus Selling Platform Connect. And okay. that's the case, as far as I know, of all major GGSs, NDC content is graphic. Yeah, I agree. Thank you. Um, and then how do you update or can you update contact information in graphic mode? So, um, not yet to, to be uh, transparent. And uh, the good news is as part of the or Amadeus Service Hub um, option. So let me uh, show you back. Um, uh, so in our, docu in our documentation, we are exposing as well the, uh, the list of available features and roadmap and travel agents can go there, see in detail what is uh, uh, what are the available features. It's a section that can be expanded or collapsed. And uh, same for the roadmap. And the good news is travel agents, and I really uh, encourage people to do this. I always feel like a YouTuber, but uh, please subscribe. Uh, there is this uh, little uh, star icon at the top. When you click on it and it turns blue, it means that as a travel agent, you will receive updates. Uh, that you can configure on a daily or weekly basis on updates that Amadeus is delivering um, related to, to NDC. So that's a very convenient way for travel agents to be kept up to, um, up to speed on the features which are available. The possibility to amend uh, contact information post booking is something uh, that we aim to deliver around the summer. I don't have the exact timing, but uh, summertime is a good but one. But it's on the roadmap. Great, thank you. Um, is there an indicator within an e-ticket record that shows a ticket was issued as NDC in that e-ticket record? Um, you mean the, um, uh, the ticket number itself? No. Uh, and, uh, are we no, no, retrieving the reservation no. maybe? No, uh, on the ticket for sure, no, there is no new indicator. Okay. Um, now through the, um, the travel platform, PNR, uh, there is an indicator that it's an NDC booking. Yes. Okay. On the travel platform. Yes. Correct. Thank you. And, and the same in ARC, as, as Cassie was showing earlier, is you can utilize the drop down box uh, to show your uh, airline direct transaction for a particular airline or for all of the airline direct uh, airlines. And that's how we're showing it in IAR. Um, next one can you start a PNR in cryptic mode, which I, uh, it, and, and then go to graphic mode to add NDC? 
or does it have to start with that graphic? So it can start in, uh, in cryptic mode. Um, for example, if, if I jump back to uh, the Miami office that I've used to record the video a couple of days ago, uh, so here in the, in the test environment, I think I still have my profile. So it's possible to start your profile, add your passenger contact details the same way you've been accustomed to. Uh, uh, but for everything which is related to the air segment part themselves, it will have to be done in a graphic mode. So let's say that I'm starting a new command page and uh, I can, um, um, if I'm correct, I still have my profile. Yes, Ryan Bingham, that's the name of the character played by uh, George Clooney in Up in the Air. So I love the movie. So uh, that's always my uh, go-to uh, test, <laughs> test passenger. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, how do uh, how does someone search in Amadeus for the list of NDC emissions per day? Is that an option or not yet? Okay. Uh, so yes, we have um, a solution that uh, is a, a sales report uh, equivalent of the sales report to see the list of sales done on a daily basis. It's uh, done in uh, via a script. Uh, let me check. Yes, normally it's enabled on my test website. Let me check. Uh, that's here, NDC sales report. And let's say I'm selecting today and I click on search and I have all my sales. As it's a test environment, we've got many, many bookings, of, obviously, which has been uh, done today. It's possible to filter by uh, transaction type or uh, airlines or currencies and then export if you want a report. So that's something that must be uh, activated. So if uh, as a travel agent you're interested, please liaise with your Amadeus representative. They can, uh, they can turn this on for you. It's not turned on by default. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Um, next one, um, I, we talked about the void and the 24 hours to void. There, it, that is really up to the each airline will determine what how their uh, NDC fares uh, and availability will be, what rules are surrounding that void. So I want to be sure we have mentioned that again. Um, question about the commission: um, Is there an, a capability to add commission? Um, in NDC, or is that strictly based on the airline's offer to the agent? I can take this one. Uh, yes, thank you, Alexander. <laughs> um, regarding the, the NDC concept and the fact that the airline is really in charge of defining and building the best offer, it's really up to the airline to um, provide this information to the travel agency and there is no way normally in the NDC schema to change that or for a travel agent to change or to input that commission. So on the travel pl platform side, we will display the commission that has been built and, uh, and provided by the airline, but the travel agent will not be able to change that commission. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, if I may, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, to come back on the on the previous question on the uh, on the void uh, window, so we've uh, documented on the on our extranet so some documentation that have we don't have the information for all airlines because it has it's uh, dependent on the airline and not all have uh, returned back to us in uh, in writing with uh, uh, which airline, but there is a document in the page I've uh, highlighted you, which is a FAQ uh, document, and what is the void window per airline, and then we're, for the ones who, uh, who came back to us, we uh, we are exposing this for BSP and ARC mar uh, ARC market. Okay, thank you so much. Great information with, with uh, on uh, Amadeus capability of giving you all this information on their website. So thank you so much. Great to, that you've shown it in a few cases as well. Um, about ticket exchanges, um, is that possible in the Amadeus um, system, the aggregation tool, or does that have to happen with an airline or is it based on the airline capability that they're offering at the moment? So all um, 
all the carriers we are connected to uh, offer via us the um, possibility to exchange tickets for issuance. Okay. So great. So they all offer that. The question here was kind of how to do that. I don't know that we can actually show that right here, um, but maybe we can get back with another uh, some further information after the video or the webinar. And keep in mind, Paige, just to add, um, we are going to be having the second webinar, which will definitely go into refunds and exchanges and some of the more complex transactions. So um, that will be helpful as well. That'll be helpful. Great. Too. Thank you for mentioning that, Cass. Yeah, agree. Uh, next one is about avoiding an ARC for direct um, airline direct transactions, or do you have to do that in the, the GDS or aggregator? And again, I think that depends on the airline and what their rules are. Um, now the next one was, sorry, how do I, um, how do I access the NDC? Oh, go ahead, please. Yeah, ju just to explain the, the difference between the GDS and the NDC, um, it's true that in the GDS, well, the travel agent knows that there are void, let's say, a, a situation and a refund situation. In NDC, actually, uh, it's really up to the airline to decide. And the message that is sent by the aggregator to the airline to cancel actually the booking is the same one. And depending on, let's say, the condition at, uh, uh, at which the, the, the cancel is triggered, the airline decide, oh, it's, it's really a fitting with the vote situation behind the scene or a refund situation. So from a, a travel seller, it's just a cancel. And regarding the exchange and everything as well, it's just a change to the existing order. So it's really different from, we, all the, the GDS world that we know, <laughs> where the travel agent really has this expertise to exactly enter the proper uh, yeah, entry or input to do exactly what it wants. Here is just uh, simplifying, let's say, the flow by um, uh, having yeah, more high level, uh, let's say, actions by canceling or changing. That's it. Great. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> I think one of the questions here is, is about going from uh, in Amadeus um, from basically what you were saying from the uh, uh, the actual green screen, shall we call it, to the graphic, how you get there. Um, I'm not sure everyone understands exactly how to make that happen. And you showed it in the video, um, but can you can can we do that one more time? Yes, sure. Please. So um, let's see. Um, um, when you log in into Selling Platform Connect, depending on uh, the setup on, on the market, either you land on the, the, the main page uh, here, where it's easy to create a new booking uh, starting with Air Search. That's, let's say, when you, have, you don't start with a profile, you've got a walking customer, for example, uh, or you've got a request on the phone, and you click on the Air Search, and it uh, moves you to... Um, uh, to the search interface where you enter origin, destination, uh, airlines, timings, uh, type of passengers, etc., as well as how to search for specific pair types, public, negotiated, corporate. Okay. And, and also the tra travel agent is always in control in terms of content, uh, in terms of content option. Do the, by default, all content will be uh, displayed. Edifact and NDC, and if one flight is made available via two sources, we will take the cheapest option. And then uh, for the rare cases where it's exactly uh, well, the same decimal point, and uh, uh, then um, there is a parameter which is defined at Amadeus Office ID level to, uh, to define in these rare cases, which one takes precedence. Is it the Edifact source or is it the NDC source? And it's a one of choice for the travel agent. Um, so from the from the home page, when you click on main page, either you click on the air search, or if uh, like, and I think it's uh, quite uh, frequent in North America, um, by default, when you log in to Selling Platform Connect, you end up in the command page. You can also access the search. Uh, you can also access the search uh, option by using, instead of new command page, use the little arrow and say new air. 
and when doing new air at the top with uh, this little uh, option uh, it's possible to um, uh, it's possible to trigger a new search page with uh, the same uh, the same mask to fill with origin destination and so on so a couple different ways to get there great thank you yes perfect um since the airline is issuing the ticket who is the merchant when the ticket is paid with a credit card i think that is again depending um i think the airline is the merchant in most cases it is from what i can understand um, and what we have seen uh, just as you do in a gds uh, connection and uh, there would be the same for the ndc connection um, unless you're paying with cash okay yes um yes you no, know, indeed, it's confirmed. The airline is always the merchant of a ticket paid by credit card. Okay, great, thank you. Um, uh, can you apply a multiple airport search on an air shopping request, like from London all airports to JFK? Can you so, do an all airport shopping? Uh, yes. And let's say you don't know London uh, code, uh, you can start to type uh, the name of the city and then the drop down will appear. It's possible to use with NDC a city, uh, an IATA city code as search. Now, um, an option that is um, uh, what we call radius search, uh, where you uh, select uh, 50 miles around a given point. This will not be used in um, NDC search. So let's say that I want to search from London to uh, GFK uh, and GFK with a radius of maybe uh, uh, 200 kilometers. It's possible to have it in miles, and, uh, don't worry. Um, uh, for all, uh, among the NDC results, you will only have flights back to GFK. You won't. Uh, the radius is applied in Edifact, but is not yet available in NDCU. Okay, terrific. Any other question? Oh, yeah, no, there are many, there are many. Uh, <laughs> um, Okay, next question was a little more general, and this is really, uh, I think, um, are all carriers transmitting all ticketing transactions via ARC and IAR, cash, credit card, commission refund, everything? I, I think every airline has their own roadmap on what they're doing um, and how they're sending transactions to ARC or not to ARC. Um, so I can't say for sure, I mean, I, I can't answer your question in a yes or a no because it isn't just yes or no. Um, we can have a, you know, maybe a further discussion afterwards, potentially. Um, can you, is there any way, uh, Joachim, that you could show where you can see a PNR history um, and fare rules for the NDC transaction, or is that not really possible? How does that work today? Uh, so, uh, yes, it's possible uh, in um, Pre, uh, pre booking so here let's say that uh, on this search from uh, from london to uh, to new york um so here uh, if the gods of the test systems are with us uh, we uh, we should be okay so here for example um uh, for this public fair we have the full flat condition so if i click here i will see that with british airways um, for example, cancellation before departure is not allowed, and change before departure is allowed with uh, this uh, this penalty applied by Shareways. Now, uh, the fact that I've, uh, I've made a pricing on this flight, saying, oh, I'm interested by this flight, uh, then behind the scenes, the system has searched for also other fares available. So earlier, we had a question of how do we get access to business class fares? Some airlines are returning, uh, oh, you're interested by this flight? Let me show you extra uh, extra flight option with all the um, uh, all the options displayed by, by default. And that's where you're, 
you have access, okay, business promo, um, that might be interesting. If we click on the terms and conditions, we see that this business promo is uh, as this penalty in case of uh, change fee or uh, is not cancelable, while uh, maybe uh, a business select from which airways has different terms and conditions. Yes, it's possible to cancel that with this fee and the change is without additional charge. Perfect. So this is, and this is available uh, obviously during the shopping flow and as well post booking. Great. And the word cancel is kind of the new word for void because there really isn't necessarily the void any longer, correct? I just want to be clear. Uh, that's a very good question. Um, the, the answer as often with NDC is indeed in the UI, we are exposing to the travel agent only one button, which is called cancel. When the uh, travel agent hits this button, behind the scene, we are calling the airline, say, hey, the travel agent would like to cancel this order, this reservation. And the airline will compute based on their own rule. Remember, NDC taking back control. Um, so the, uh, the airline is uh, returning, okay, this is just a cancellation because the ticket has not been issued. This is a void because we are in the void window that I'm defining, or this is a refund. So, um, and we'll see this in the next uh, in the next session in a couple of days, um, where we'll focus more on the servicing scenarios. But basically, the travel agent click on the cancel button, and then they will get a pop up to to say in which of the scenarios there are cancel, simple cancellation, void, or refund, and there are different uh, pop ups, and the travel agent can confirm or cancel, I mean, not commit this cancellation, close the pop-up, they are fine with uh, it. Perfect, thank you. Um, one big, great question is, could they, could we get the website for the Amadeus support, the website you were showing how to, how to access some of the information, could we put that into the chat for people? That would be great if someone could do that. Yes, uh, so I'll put it in uh, the chat and I guess you can broadcast it. Uh, okay. yes. Thank you so much. Um, there's a question in here, Cassie. It's about IAR and is the IAR for airlines or agents only? How does that work? Could you explain a little bit, please? As soon as I come off mute. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so IAR is for agents. Um, airlines do not have access to IAR um, today unless they have an agency for themselves, um, then they would likely be able to access IAR. But IAR is Agent Sales Reporting Tool. Um, it stands for Interactive Agent Reporting. So it is designed for agents. And this is just a way to see all the sales, as I mentioned in the video, um, to see your full list of sales for any given period. So a period is a one week um, time frame. <clears throat> so that is uh, available to agents. Great, thank you. Um, how, how do you, uh, do you enroll separately for NDC in the selling platform to connect to it? How, how do you get to NDC in the Amadeus platform? So, um, when you, uh, when you log in, uh, depending on, uh, depending on the setup, so either the travel agent will, uh, uh, end up on the, what we call the main page. And from there, there is this, uh, air search option. Uh, enable uh, and move the travel agent to the um, uh, to the graphical uh, search interface, and this is not blocking in any way the access to the command line. So with this menu on the top left corner, it's possible to uh, uh, to access command page or to access the graphical environment, uh, air search or car search or hotel search booking. Okay, so you can, any agent can go into Amadeus and be able to have access to the NDC content or do they need to contact their Amadeus rep or how does that work? Um, so from uh, what I know in North America, many customers have already been activated and uh, there are more and more. Um, there are some ongoing campaigns to, uh, to activate it uh, for as many customers as possible. The, Many already are. Um, uh, I'll search in parallel the number of US-based customers 
and official is already set up, but it's it's a lot of code. But but Joachim, as a travel agent, if I want, I'm using the the, the Amadeus Selling Connect, and I want mm -hmm. to benefit from the NDC content. What should I do? So, um, in the US, um, normally there has been already some uh, uh, what we call mass activation campaigns. So, there are high chances that the uh, the diff uh, and the minimum setup has already been done. Um, so, I will. Uh, so North America, in North America, we have, uh, check, check, check. let me check exactly. Uh, we have 1,600 uh, office IDs from any kind of, um, any kind of travel agencies, retail, business travel, online travel agency, already enabled. If it's not the case, an, an easy way to figure out if your office ID is NDC enabled, is when you go to this air search panel, you will quickly, uh, you can uh, expand uh, one section, and I'm sorry, we are in test system, so it's a, it's a bit slow. So here, there is this pairs and fees at the bottom. When you click on it and you expand, if you have the possibility, uh, if you have the, uh, the possibility to filter content option on all content, exclude NDC or only NDC, it means that NDC is enabled. Okay. And uh, you can quick, uh, then quickly make a search uh, between Miami and Denver. Uh, and um, NDC fares usually being cheaper than Edifact fares, you mm -hmm. would see the purple tag. So I can make an example. Of, um, let, me, let me do it from the Miami office ID. That would be uh, more realistic. Okay, Miami to Denver uh, for one-way flights. So I'm uh, canceling the uh, second bound uh, direct and I click on search. I see, okay, American Airlines, United, and you see the purple NDC flag on the right, mm -hmm. where, which is not displayed, for example, for Spirit Airline at the top. Uh, but, uh, so Spirit Airline is not NDC via, uh, via Amadeus, and Frontier is not, but for the others, it is on uh, NDC. So it's an easy way to figure out if you, it's enabled or not. If it's not, then indeed contact your Amadeus sales representative to, uh, to have it configured. Perfect, thank you. Um, I think we're going to need to move back to the presentation. We still have a lot of questions and we will come back if we can to do more questions at the end. Um, however, we will get back to people about the questions that they've asked um, if we cannot have, don't have any time to finish them here. But thank you, Joachim, if you could keep going with the presentation, please. Sure. So, indeed, um, many questions and uh, NDC is a journey we are not um, uh, we are not at the end uh, in a sense that in 2023 we will accelerate even more on NDC by uh, deploying more airlines uh, at least half a dozen will uh, will join the list of airlines implemented by the end of the year we are also taking the, the feedback from the thousands and thousands of travel agents around the world, uh, which have already used our system to, um, uh, to improve the usability of our interface. We know that this change from the legacy command line environments that uh, travel agents are accustomed to, to the, um, uh, to the um, graphical user interface is not easy. So we are making improvements here to uh, to boost adoption of NDC. We are delivering new features which are being highly demanded by customers. Uh, for example, one that will come very soon, possibility to uh, accept uh, the flight after involuntary change. Um, 
split the order in case of multi packs and one packs would like to get back sooner. Deferred payment for uh, exchange. Today, when you perform a, an exchange, it's the same transaction that both change the flight and issue the, reissue the ticket. Now, we would like to be able to, to have it as two different actions. Uh, keep and reuse uh, credits from, uh, from uh, MCOs, EMDs, etc., uh, to allow travel agents to, to use it to pay towards NDC content. Management of the commission, so that's highly dependent on, on the carriers as well uh, as Alexandra has mentioned. Uh, what we are um, uh, doing as well is, especially uh, at the moment in North America, with our team there, there are a lot of ongoing actions and ongoing uh, initiatives to boost the, uh, and uh, help the customers for their first steps in NDC because this is discovering a new world. And indeed, it's uh, it's interesting to uh, to be um, and hold it somehow to to have some documentation and so on. And that's a, a good news because Amadeus at Amadeus we believe that. The journey to NDC is something that requires indeed uh, some support. So we have uh, the documentation that we um, we've talked about the Amadeus service uh, the Amadeus service hub where we have a lot of content available. We have our chatbot Amanda, which is available and connected in Sling Platform Connect, which no already knows a lot in um, around NDC. And uh, we've recently deployed the Amadeus Live Travel Community. The Amadeus Live Travel Community is a, a forum, an online forum for travel agents moderated by Amadeus experts. So basically, when you have functional questions, oh, uh, and this is a bit new, I don't know if uh, what I get is normal or not, you can ask your question and either fellow travel agents or Amadeus experts will reply to, uh, to you. So it's available also on the service hub. So there is a dedicated tab at the top that can be interesting. Um, I will not go into the details for API customers, but uh, because it uh, can be quite technical, but for web service customers who are, who are using our, uh, our Amadeus Travel API to connect to NDC content and to access NDC content, we have as well a lot of documentation. We have some uh, bootstrap to facilitate the, the travel agents. Uh, Implementation, travel agency implementation of NDC. And as we believe that NDC is, um, uh, is something that is a kind of personal journey um, to, uh, for the travel agents, we let the choice for the upskilling. Either we, uh, we let travel agents go into self-service mode where we have um, education material, a set of small videos which are less than one hour, or also we have uh, live instructor-led trainings. We've already had more than 600 worldwide, and uh, which has proven quite uh, quite beneficial for travel agencies who wants to have a human uh, interaction to to learn and uh, to use NDC. And last but not least, with Amadeus, our objective is uh, to be your one-stop shop for uh, for NDC. So when you've got questions uh, a bug uh, an issue you can raise it to us and then we'll deal in the background if needed with the airlines so as a travel agent you don't have to uh, to talk to uh, uh, many airlines behind the scene okay so that will uh, be the, then uh, the last slide uh, that is a kind of summary of uh, where we stand NDC overall, it's future proof. That's uh, the standard of the future. That's uh, that's clear, and that will surpass in uh, in the coming years. Uh, IATA believes it will be uh, 2030. Some carriers are already stating that, yeah, by the end of 2025, end of 2027, I want 100% or close to that uh, of my indirect sales to be done via NDC. So really, NDC. At some point, everyone in the travel industry will uh, will use NDC. So all the innovations will occur only on NDC and not in the legacy ADFAC fact uh, standard. Now, NDC is a choice. At Amadeus, we offer both worlds. Uh, we continue to offer the legacy command line interface world 
and the graphical uh, interface that has been available already for more than two decades, but we, um, we've announced it to, uh, to include the NC content. And each travel agency, based on the content differentiation, the features which are available, and uh, let's say the, the market pressure, the fact that more and more travel agencies are connected to, uh, to NDC, can make this choice as when is for them the right time to make this uh, leap of pace, a bit like uh, Harrison Ford at the end of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, you know, when he, uh, he has to make a step forward to go to, uh, to the other side to, uh, to access the Holy Grail. Uh, and this is a bit the same. It's the first step which costs the most, but actually once you've made it, it's not that complex. That's why we are here to, to help you. And uh, as uh, we've mentioned, and this is something that Amadeus is investing a lot on, and that's why we are keen to um, uh, to have you enroll and subscribe to the various Amadeus uh, service hub pages. So you are really up to speed on what is available. And if you decide that and this is not the right time for you because of content or because of feature, at least you know exactly when this content threshold or this feature threshold would be crossed. So as uh, I mentioned earlier, please subscribe to the various pages. So from a Neamadu's perspective, that's it. Are we at the end? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Um, there's there are a couple more questions, please. Uh, one, if you have some uh, other questions, you can always contact uh, Cassie and myself at uh, NDC at artcorp.com, as well as the uh, Direct Connect website, which we've also given you the link for. Uh, this, uh, as Judy said, this will definitely be on our website, the link that we have given you there. Um, and we will be able to, uh, again, we're going to be trying to answer the questions that we've not been able to get to. There is one other question that I would like to answer because it was asked by quite a few people, and that was about um, hey, the service. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, just before you go to that, just because Joachim has it on his screen. Um, thank you, Joachim, by the way, for pulling this up. This is our website. Um, if you go to products at the top of the page and then in the bottom left, you can go to ARC Direct Connect NDC. And then when you click there, um, just really briefly, Joachim, if you don't mind, since you have this up, could you click on partners um, on that blue ribbon, kind of right in the center of the page at the top? Sorry, just below that. There you go. So this will take you down to the page where um, if you scroll to Air France and then actually click on that carrot for me, the little arrow, this will expand. And this is what we were referring to in terms of how the airline has set up their individual NDC program with ARC. So this will walk you through what you can and can't do in IER, what you can expect to see in terms of transaction types. Um, so this is a great reference um, for those curious about what ARC will receive regarding NDC um, and how each airline has set up their particular program. So I know we got a lot of questions about voids um, in IAR. In the bottom right hand corner, IAR manual entries, if void or all are selected, that is when you will have the ability to attempt to void that transaction in IAR. Again, it's going to completely depend on that airline's um, fair rules and whether that will come back with an ESAC to void, um, but all or void highlighted is when you would have the capability of attempting that void in IER. Thanks, Paige. Oh, did that? No, that was great. I'm glad we were able to show that. Thank you. Um, but I think the, the what I was going to talk to was just briefly the question about being able to add on a service fee using ARC pay during the NDC shopping process and how that can work. So is that something you can talk to here or do we need to address that in a separate comment? I can answer if you want. <laughs> oh, perfect. That would be great. Actually, uh, so ArcPay, which is uh, known in our system as the travel agent service fee, is a uh, 
concept that has not been uh, brought to NDC so far. Meaning that, um, remember that the, the difference between the GDS flow and the NDC flow is a shift from all the GDS action that were made by the GDS to the airline. And uh, let's say that the travel agent service fee, so ARC, ARC pay is uh, um, contradictory with the airline flow because it stands between the travel agents and ARC. There is no uh, airline in between. So it's true that this is something that uh, we will have to discuss at industry level during the um, across the, the various group. But because the, the NDC journey, journey started with the airline direct connect and what the airline needs to handle, it's true that this piece regarding ARC pay or travel agent service fee has not be, been uh, brought to the discussion, to the industry discussion so far. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, I know that we do have um, some other uh, technology with it with ArcPay that we have been uh, putting out in the marketplace called the ArcPay API. Um, we can we do have a lot more information about that on our website, uh, not the Direct Connect website, but the ArcPay.com website. And so we can provide that as well for those who are uh, have interest. Um, I want to say uh, we have only four minutes left, but I, I want to say thank you so much to Joachim for bringing on the presentation, creating the video and all of the slides um, and talking through and answering so many questions. Uh, thank you also Alexandra Sorrentino from Amadeus for your input as well. Um, Kathy, of course, for being uh, fabulous and you know, showing us exactly how those tickets are flowing straight into IAR into our test system and giving us a great uh, opportunity to see a full on flow. Anything else that you all would like to uh, say before we uh, let everyone go? Then I will turn it over back over to Judy. Thank you so much, Judy. Yeah, thank you, Paige. Um, and then I just want to reiterate and echo what Paige had said. Uh, a big, big thank you to uh, Joaquim and Alexandra from our uh, partners at uh, Amadeus for being with us today uh, and for Cassie and for Paige again thank you very much but most of all thank you for everyone that hung in there with us I know some there were some sound issues um, but thank you very very much for taking the time to, to spend with us today just to reiterate this presentation will be emailed out um, there is a short survey that will be coming your way that if you take that after this, that would be very helpful because we always want to improve upon everything. And as Paige mentioned, there will be more of these coming along. We have another one slated for June 8th, so mark your calendar and there will be more information coming around about that. But in the interim, always reach out to our team as it's stated here on the, the slide, ndc at arcpark.com. There is, as Cassie went through, um, so kindly pointed out exactly where to go on our website for more information. So please utilize all those resources. And as always, reach out with any of your questions or concerns um, to that team. Also, I can help with any sort of more administrative stuff, Jay, Jay Howard at arcpark.com. So again, thank you to our great panel. Thank you thank to you. our all of our participants um, and we look forward to you joining us again and most of all thanks for kind of hanging in there with us as we had some technical issues with sound for some of you okay thank you so hey, much Judy, really quick before you guys connect a, a few people had a question about how to access the recording um do you know how to do is that going to be emailed directly to them um how will that work Yep, a couple of ways um, that will be definitely sent out in the email. And um, for those of you of colleagues that may be registered and didn't attend, um, as long as you registered, uh, been an attendee, it will be emailed out to you, but it will also be on our website. It will be under um, on-demand webinars, and it will be able to be linked to, I believe, from the website, um, the NDC website that's posted here on the screen that Cassie walked you through. So there'll be a different, a few different avenues in which to um, get that recording. Just give us a couple of days um, so that we can get that in the format that's needed to mail out. Also, again, you can always reach me, um, and I will send it to you, and I will get the team any questions as well. So thank you, Cassie, for bringing that Great. up. Thanks, okay. Judy. Yeah. Again, thank you, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day, evening, morning, wherever you may be sitting with us around the world. Uh, and again, thanks and look forward to seeing you again.